Hello, this is Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways to migrate your artwork from Adobe Illustrator into Adobe After Effects. We'll compare capabilities and results, and using Adobe XD and Battleaxe's popular Overlord extension. To finish up, we'll take a brief look at the direct import from Illustrator into After Effects. For more on the direct import, check out using Adobe Illustrator files in After Effects on the Noble Desktop YouTube channel, URL in the description below. To test XD and Overlord, we'll use a simple file comprised of text and shapes. And to test Illustrator, we'll use a file that is a veritable file import obstacle course. And then we'll summarize the results in a table at the end of the video. Adobe Experience Design, or XD, is a vector-based user experience design tool enabling website wireframing and creating click-through prototypes. It supports previewing the resulting work directly on mobile devices, so it may be a surprise that XD can import Illustrator files and then actually export them into After Effects. For the XD demo, we'll start in Illustrator and I'll go over a few qualities of the file. One I'd like to point out is this is one large text object. You might see this type of style frame for companies that work in highly regulated environments, such as finance or pharma. Also, these slides tend to be edited during production, so it would be beneficial to have one large text object rather than have it broken down by line. Um, and then just for the test, we'll include a rectangle, an ellipse, and a polygon triangle, uh, three parametric objects. Okay, so let's go to XD. We'll click on the new file button. And we'll go to file import keyboard shortcut shift control i on the mac shift command i and we'll find the file we were just looking at okay notice the positioning of the three parametric objects it's uh, they seem to have moved a little bit okay we'll select everything so select all or keyboard shortcut control a and then We'll go to File, Export, After Effects, Keyboard Shortcut, Control, Alt, F, or Command, Option, F. This will actually start After Effects. Okay, here we are in After Effects. And yeah, the three parametric objects are still positioned off compared to the Illustrator file, but we do have one live text object that can be edited in a video as needed. And uh, also this is live. Okay, and then let's just take the three parametric objects. I'll move them over using my right arrow key. And notice that these are also live objects. They can be edited, right? So let's just pick some quick coloring here uh, yeah and let yeah let's make this a little bigger so there you go these are live objects in after effects one thing to comment that if there's any kerning on this text it, it'll break up the text object it won't be this one neat paragraph style text also note that this is a one-way export from XD into After Effects. There's no going back to Illustrator with this workflow. And also, there's no going back to XD in this workflow. So this is a one-time export. XD does a really great job of importing the area text as one object. Overlord can do this as well. And to do this directly from Illustrator, uh, use copy and paste and paste directly into After Effects. 
The Battle Axe dramatically describes the Overlord plugin as a mystical portal between Illustrator and After Effects. Back on Earth, what this useful plugin facilitates is the on the fly, two way transfer of shapes, text, and more between these two mainstays. Let's start in Illustrator, Window, Extensions, and Overlord to bring up the Overlord panel. We have to do the same thing in After Effects. So Window, Extensions, Overlord. OK, the both panels need to be open for this to work. What we're going to demonstrate is the seamless round trip editing using a push-pull method between these two programs, what Battlex calls the Stargate. And this is only possible in Overlord. I'll make a new composition and go back to Illustrator. So we'll select everything using the keyboard shortcut Control A or Command A on the Mac. And then we'll use this handy panel to export to After Effects. Notice this split shapes into layers that can be useful. And we're going to push the selection to After Effects. OK. So here we are in After Effects. I mean, a moment ago, we saw that bright green screen. And here we are with the entire layout. And notice that it retained the naming convention and that these are live objects in After Effects. So, uh, the text is live. Let's take a look at, OK, the rectangle. And notice this is live as well. So let's change the color. And let's change the stroke color as well to blue. And let's make it, as you can see, this is live editing. OK, uh, the same thing goes for the gradient. Now. We can also export this back to Illustrator. So how we do that is selecting the object, push selection to AI, Adobe Illustrator. And here we are in Illustrator with the updated artwork. So this only happens in Overlord. Very, very useful. Another thing we can do in Overlord is export swatches to After Effects. So we open the swatches panel and we can select swatches and click on push selected swatches. So that's going to create a guide layer in, uh, you see this little cross hatch type uh, icon. Uh, so this is a guide layer that you can now, we can now use the eyedropper tool to change the color. Okay, and of course, uh, as a guide layer, it won't render. You can always turn it off. So yeah, a very unique collection of capabilities, very useful plugin. For our direct import from Illustrator into After Effects, we'll use this file that has quite a few interesting objects. So I'd like to call your attention to this layer mode. Which has the effect of blending this blend uh, <laughs> with the background, uh, the blend of these uh, two uh, dotted lines also blending into the background. Also, there is a mesh object uh, as well as a tightly kerned text a spiral object that has some opacity applied to it, and then uh, a few parametric objects uh, similar to what we used before. OK, so we're going to import this into After Effects. So you can use File, Import, File, or the keyboard shortcut Control or Command-I. And here's our file. As mentioned in the Noble Desktop video 
referenced earlier, uh, good ideas to use composition retain layer sizes. So we'll import that. And here it is, perfect. Notice the layer modes are maintained and the mesh looks great. Uh, the opacity, the kerning, all of it imported correctly. Uh, also a good idea when working with Illustrator files is to continuously rasterize by clicking this field here and getting that little icon. So notice these objects are not shapes. They, they are Illustrator layers. And as such, they're not editable. So if we click the text here, this is a, a linked object to an Illustrator file. Uh, it's not editable as we saw before. The text is not live, so any edits must occur in Illustrator, or you can copy and paste from Illustrator into After Effects. In the same manner, the layer mode, the mesh, the opacity, all other kinds of edits must happen in Illustrator. If we select the spiral and right-click, create, create shapes from vector layer, notice we get a shape that we can edit in After Effects. And also notice the icon changed here. Uh, the original Illustrator layer is still there, but it's hidden and we have a bonafide shape layer, which we can add opacity to. And there we are. Some other objects uh, aren't as flexible. Uh, if, for example, if we wanted to edit the mesh, uh, that doesn't have a corresponding feature in After Effects, so we would have to go back to Illustrator. Let's select the mesh tool and select our mesh. And then uh, let's change this to some other color. Uh, how about green? Okay, so we'll save that. Go back to After Effects and notice it updates. So it links dynamically between the two programs, but it's a one-way link. It only works from edits in Illustrator importing into After Effects. I can't edit something here like the spiral and send it back to Illustrator. So only one way. Here are the results tabulating the strengths and limitations of each option. In this video, we highlighted what each app does best and it's clear that no app does it all. Let's review and elaborate on these features. So 100% accurate import. You will remember XD and Overlord had simple test files. Only Illustrator can handle complexity like mesh objects and layer modes accurately. Editable text. Illustrator layers are not editable in After Effects. Editable shapes. We demoed Illustrator's ability to convert Illustrator links to shapes with the right click in After Effects. Push link to After Effects. XD is a one-way trip. Push-pull link to After Effects, only Overlord can perform. And color swatches, we saw that Battle Axe Overlord handles that. We didn't talk about is CC libraries, which Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects both have access to. So you can save your swatches from Illustrator to the CC library, Creative Cloud library, and view those in After Effects. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning three ways to migrate your artwork from Adobe Illustrator into Adobe After Effects. This has been Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop.